It took courage to leave at 14. They forced that courage on me. It wasn't a choice. I didn't have a choice. You know, I had to run. I had to work real hard, um, fight against the odds, and I made it. Um, I've got a good family, good life. A lot of the girls that did leave at my age didn't make it, were, you know, on the streets, prostituted out, stabbed, shot. I got lucky. You were 16 when you became impregnated, when you got pregnant? Uh-huh. By Arizona law, that's a crime. Do you know that? I didn't know at the time. You know now? I know now. Now that I left, I know. And after decades of largely ignoring polygamous crimes, law officers in both Utah and Arizona, unable to overlook the explosive case of Ruth Stubbs and her polygamous police officer husband, as the couple first landed in a Phoenix court fighting for custody of their children. I feel like right now the way that I, I teach my kids and the way I teach them to be, I don't know, I feel like that's my life. Right now my kids are my life and I wouldn't know what I'd do if, if I lost them. She was physically abused on several occasions. Attorney William Walker represented Ruth in the custody fight. Is Ruth's husband, Mr. Holm, is he guilty of some sort of statutory sex crime against your client? Absolutely. Uh, he, he three times in Arizona had sex with her when she was 16. That's a crime in Arizona, sexual conduct with a minor. I told him is all I want is my kids and he doesn't want to give me my kids so I feel like whatever happens to him it's you know we wouldn't have to go through through all the court and everything if he you know if he just wanted to sign over my kids two do, kids. Do you think he'll do you think he'll agree to give up your children? I don't know right now it doesn't look like it he's he's got attorneys and everything he's gonna fight and from the beginning, police officer Rodney Holm, obviously uninterested in talking to us about his custody fight and his relationship with Ruth Stubbs, choosing instead on this day to slip out of a courthouse's back door, trying to avoid our questions. My name is Mike Watkins. I'm a reporter here in I, Phoenix. I know who you are, sir. Do you? Yeah. I'd like to ask you about... Uh, this proceeding we just witnessed, apparently you're married to three women. Now, Mr. Holm has gone to court to get access to his children. He's going to tell his story to a judge uh -huh. where decisions can be made. He doesn't want to make his children the subject of some kind of media circus. I understand. And with that, that. we're not going to say anything else but today. my understanding is that you are a we're police We're done officer. for today. We're done for today, sir. Thank you. My understanding is that you are a sworn police officer in both the state of Utah I have no and comment. the state of Arizona and that you have teenage brides and perhaps impregnated this young woman when it would be a statutory rape. We don't have anything to say except to the court. He doesn't want to make his kids into some kind of media circus and he's not going to. But, but, but taking teenage brides, having multiple children with them, and some people would say that already sort of puts his kids at risk. I'm fighting that my kids don't go back into the community. Why? Because I don't want them to have to live. I don't want them to have to live that religion. I don't want them to have to have the pressures that I did. And I don't want them to have to go through what I did. And given what Ruth had gone through in Colorado City, the question, why hadn't the town's other law officers busted Rodney Holm for having sex with an underage girl? The answer is simple, according to critics. Like Rod Holm, almost all of the town's cops are practicing polygamists who take their marching orders from polygamous prophet Warren Jeffs. He has absolute control over these people. He really does. This is a new leader, and if he was to ask for violence, there's undoubtedly that's what he would get. People are guess. that devoted to this guy? Absolutely. There's people that would kill for him in the midst of it. The stories that you guys tell that don't live here. Sam Roundy is the town's police chief, and this interview with the feisty lawman conducted just before the Rod Holm story broke. Is there a pattern of uh, girls being married in this town? 15, 16 year olds girls being married to older men. I understand many of the law officers have young wives. Well, I'm not going to comment on that. That's 
personal business and and do you talk about your personal business I don't I'm, I'm not married to teenage girls neither am I okay or any of your officers no they are not none, none, of, them. none of the law officers in this town are married actually I'll make no comment on that make okay? no comment. it's none of your business but when Utah prosecutors heard the story of Rod Holm and his teenage bride Ruth Stubbs they did something unprecedented they charged the cop with bigamy and having sex with an underage girl on this day, Rod Holmes showed up at his criminal trial with one of his other two wives. We love our children very much and we're very concerned about the pressure of this case coming upon them. Um, I don't believe that any children should have to grow up in fear that their parents could be arrested for the way they believe. Leave the girls that are underage alone. Don't marry underage girls. The home's freedom of religion and freedom of expression are under attack in this case. Uh, the people of Utah should be concerned about that attack on their freedoms. But despite his lawyer's claims that Rod Holm was being persecuted because of his religion, a Utah jury took less than two hours to find Holm guilty of bigamy and having sex with an underage girl. Rod Holm could have gone to prison for up to 15 years, but in the end, the judge in the case, G. Rand Beecham, gave Holm what many perceive to be a slap on the wrist. One year in county jail, Rod Holm is already out and back in Colorado City, living with his two other wives and considered by polygamous faithful to be a martyr and a hero. Still ahead, trying to protect those too young to protect themselves. I wish them to leave the girls alone and the boys alone till they're 18 years old before they pick on them for marriage.